as this king tone you can find all my social media outlets it will be in the description box below now solo sokoa joining the bloodline now i knew this was gonna happen we all, we all know this it's only a matter of time um now there's two ways they could do this they could either kick Roman Reigns out of the bloodline or they could have Solo go after the IC title and the U US title and he has two mid card titles that's the only way I can see them continue with the bloodline now if they decide to kick Roman Reigns out of the bloodline the question is is Paul Heyman going to go with you know, the bloodline with uh, Solo Sokoa and the Usos, or he's going to go with Roman Reigns? That's another question. If Solo Sokoa goes... So say this for instance, right? Just for example. Say if Solo Sokoa beats Roman Reigns for the both world titles, is Paul Heyman still going to go with Roman Reigns, or he's going to go with Solo Sokoa? Now... Now that the tribal chief is established, I'm assuming that he's gonna go with uh, he's gonna go with Solo Sokoa because, of course, he's champion. That's one. Two. He's not really good on promo compared to Roman now because Roman is unstoppable right now when he when it comes to promos. At first, Roman Reigns didn't know how to cut promos, but now, you know, he's getting better at it. So, I feel like. He might not need Paul Heyman anymore if if he decides to lose both titles to Sokoa. Just saying. Not saying he will. I'm just saying this. This is this a what if theory. You know what I'm saying? This is a what if. But um Yeah, that's the only way I can see them going with this. And now that the bloodline um has Sokoa, they really don't need Sami Zayn at this point. They're gonna kick him out at some point. It's at some point they're gonna kick him out. Because they needed a fourth person to be in the bloodline. They just know who it was. But I feel like Sammy was just a rebound. Like, at some point, they're going to kick him out. You know what I mean? And I feel like that Sammy Zayn, we need that 2015 Sammy Zayn. This whole big beard and long ass hair, we don't need that type of Sammy Zayn. We need the, the low cut, you know what I'm saying? 2015, 2016 Sammy Zayn back. Because this one ain't working. I mean, it was funny, cool, but now that Solo Sokoa is in the bloodline, it's not going to work. And eventually, they're going to kick him out. At some point, Sammy's going to fuck up and do something that might be too annoying. Or he might cause whether the Usos or Solo Sokoa to lose a match. And that's, eventually, they're going to kick him out, out of the bloodline. So, um, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's like... I want them to keep Roman Reigns as world champion, but at the same time, they gotta get Roman Reigns up, off the off those titles. It's been it's been it's been two years now. You know what I mean? And I would like to see Solo Sokoa be champion in the WWE. As far as like Raw and SmackDown, um, but I don't know. It's like, but if they're having the brand split. They're having a draft. I can see him beating him for one title. You know what I'm saying? That way, Roman will still be world champion. You know what I mean? But who knows? But um, that's all I got to say. Um, tell me how you feel about Solo Sokoa joining the bloodline. Do you think Roman Reigns should be out of the bloodline? Or just anything about the bloodline, just put in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next video.